Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. I made a uh, video uh, a minute ago with the shitty situation in um, the East by um, Bakhmut and Abdivka, shitty for the Ukrainians. And I used about six or seven articles uh, from Reuters, from the Ukrainians. And uh, we have the General Sirsky, the Russian General Sirsky, who is uh, the commander in chief of the Ukraine's armed forces. Uh, saying that the situation is bad. Now we have here an article coming from Sputnik. Uh, he said the situation is bad because the Russians keep advancing with tanks, armored vehicles and assault troops. Now we have an announcement, a statement coming from the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation claiming that they actually took over the village of Pervomaiskoye in Donetsk Oblast by Donetsk, southwest of Avdivka. So let me show you the article and then I have two or three maps. So Sputnik, Russia special military operation, Russian forces liberate village of Pervomaiskoye in Avdivka vicinity. So where is that located? This is a map where you have Donetsk here. You have Avdivka here, and this is the village here. So it's the Bermuda Triangle right here. So if you go northwest on this little road, you're gonna get to Pervomaiskoye, Pervomaiskoye, however you want it. So um, let me show you another map, actually two maps. This is one where we have Donetsk, it's, it should be here. This is Donetsk, this should be it, uh, Artem uh, Avdivka here. So this little triangle is this little triangle right here. And we have another map as well. Let me show you that one, where this is the, the village and it says right here, the Russian Ministry of Defense claims Pervomaiske near Donetsk was captured by Russian troops two hours ago. So here it is. If you go down here, you're going to go to Donetsk, obviously. And then uh, you got to uh, Avdivka in the north in here. So this is where Donetsk is here. This is Donetsk. Uh, never like this map. Anyway, it's clear. And you can zoom in Donetsk here, this village liberated here and Avdivka here. Correct? Correct. Where are you? Avdivka. All right, let's see what the Russians have to say. More details on this one. The Russian armed forces have liberated the village of Pervomaiskoye in the Donetsk People's Republic DPR in the Avdivka area. The Russian Ministry of Defense reported today on Saturday, the 13th of August of April 2024. I mean August already. And I'm quoting... Near Avdevka, units of battle group Center liberated the settlement of Pervomaiskoye in the Donetsk People's Republic through active and selfless actions, end quote. The ministry said, now, let me show you some articles that I used for previous video just to show you how desperate the situation is. Ukrainska Pravda, situation in Ukraine's east escalates significantly. Commander-in-chief, the Russian Sirsky. Next one. New voice of Ukraine. The same. In Russian intensifies offensive. Next one. Ukraine, Ukraine form. Situation on East Front has escalated. Next. Reuters. Russian armored assault ramp up pressure on Ukraine's East. Army chief says Sirsky. And then we have fighting continues in Bohdanivka on Bakhmut axis. The Ukraine form. And the last one. The new voice of Ukraine, Bohdanivka village under Ukrainian control, intense fighting persists. I suspect that's already lost. Uh, and Bohdanivka is in um, Pakhmut or Artemovsk here, Shasoviar here. Uh, Bohdanivka is in the north east of Shasoviar. So uh, I suspect that's already in the Russians' hands, but these guys refuse to admit it yet. So Bakhmut here, Shasov Yar here, and uh, 
Bogdanivka is in this area. So this is the Russians claim that they are over it. Or at least they will be soon. Next, let's go to the initial article. Additionally, the ministry noted that eight counterattacks by assault groups as well as 20 pa -pa -pa mechanized brigades of the armed forces of Ukraine were repelled in the area of the areas of the settlements of pam bim boom bim boom boom in Donetsk. On the Kupiansk area, Kupiansk is another one that will fall and that is right in the north of the hostilities. Here is where Kupiansk is. Here in Kharkiv, Kharkov Oblast, this is the city of Kharkiv, Kharkov, Kharkiv Ukrainian, Kharkov Russian. This is a Russian map. So uh, let's go back. Uh, on the Kupia Kupiansk, the uh, units of the battle group Zapad improved their position, they say. Okay, we'll see how you improved it. In the Donetsk region, the one with Avdivka and with Bakhmut, Russian forces took more advantageous positions, repelled two attacks by the Ukrainian armed forces. With Ukrainian losses in the past 24 hours amounting to over 500 servicemen and one tank. Okay, well, this is what the Russians are saying. The point here is this village, according to the, the Russians, was liberated, according to the Ukrainians, were, was occupied without the more infusion of flesh, fresh blood coming from, unfortunately, the population of Ukraine and without uh, more missiles and equipment, weapons coming from the sponsors of war and with money in order to make things uh, run around and obviously uh, loans and uh, how do you call it? How do you call it? Loans and aid. That's how they call it. The Ukrainians are in uh, deep doo-doo. We'll see when the Americans here will uh, vote and they will uh, vote for sending, as I said many times, I suspect not $60 billion for Ukraine, but about $50 or $55 billion to show us that those guys over there in the US Congress are really, really fighting. There's two uh, opposite sides that actually, you know, they uh, negotiate and they <laughs> they're just for us baboons to say, oh my God, yes, I'm represented. No, we're not. We are represented in name, but not in act, in uh, ac action. So uh, if you have different uh, assessments, uh, let me know uh, regarding the relationship between us and our elected officials. Regarding that, the Russians will keep advancing to the West and we'll see when these guys, the West will activate other, either um, other baboons, unfortunately, giving them the impression, the impression that they are attacked or will be attacked, imminent attack by the Russian hordes, which I'm talking about the Baltic states, Poland, possibly Romania, Bulgaria, mm, not really. And uh, if not, they will have troops, their own troops over there as you know, peacekeeping missions. Um, we'll see. And the Russians will them up. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. Unfortunately, people die for interests.